a little story with you all just to understand the power of music and just how much um, music really can pave the way for just so many amazing things. So um, just briefly, there was just a little boy, um, just a picture, a blind, three or four year old boy who um, because of just the circumstances of the country was not able to get the resources that um, he needed. And in those times in Haiti, being someone who was blind was kind of seen as like a bad woman to the family. And usually it wasn't the best of circumstances as far as what would happen to a child like that. But fortunately for this little boy, um, his family pulled together whatever was possible for them to transport him about 200 miles away from their hometown so that they could go to the only handicapped school in Haiti, uh, just for handicapped children in general. Um, and it was there, um, after a couple of years of him kind of just integrating within the system that just roaming down the halls, a simple moment where he just heard this beautiful melody and was completely captivated by it and just was in search for where is this melody coming from because he just had to know, what was, you know where it was coming from. And finally he found it in a room and he sat quietly until the, the sound ended and it was at that point in time he realized it was a friend of his who was playing an instrument that he had never heard, never seen. So um, and just you know, trying to feel out what this instrument was that was creating this beautiful sound, he asked, well, is, this, is this a music box? Like, what, what is this? So even just in the, the description of the violin was just a music box. And both boys ran to the headmaster of the school and was just like, how can we get a teacher to help us with this, learn this instrument? Because it's just so beautiful, I have to learn it. Um, and it was a volunteer such as Kara, like Salva, like Javier, like, you know, Lydia, that really um, came down to Haiti for two years and gave both boys lessons. And then another volunteer who spent four years and really, really, really um, worked with um, a lot of these children to help them learn how to play the violin. And it was by one miracle one day that uh, the little boy had an opportunity to go and get a full scholarship to go study in the United States at the University of Cincinnati and then eventually at Juilliard School, which is one of the top countries in New York for classical music. So a simple moment like that um, really kind of changed the course of this little boy's life. And that little boy was my father. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm literally standing here with his music box, <laughs> continuing on that legacy to just explore and really share with you all how so, a very simple moment um, can really just completely change the life of someone who, you know, is considered a bad woman and Lord knows what could have happened to him had nobody really believed, you know, in him. His parents not had the resources to take him where he needed to go to be at the right place to meet amazing volunteers like the musicians that you see on stage in order for him to become something one day and for me to even be standing in front of him at this moment in time. So um, I just want to, as a thank you not only to the group and to you all, I wanted to share one of the pieces that he arranged, which is called Populi. And Populi is like the, you know, the little, little bowls of um, you know, different scented things. I really need to understand how to explain it. <laughs> I just know it's something that smells good, but it's like a mixture of things. That was, it's a mixture of different, you know, scents that create this amazing presentation that's also visual, but, you know, smelling like smells good. So he combined three songs that he really, really enjoyed. Two of them are from very well-known Haitian um, bands that have been around.